Uh, I recently got a guitar. It is a Schecter Hellraiser <coughs> C1. It came with EMG Active Humbuckers 81, 89R. But most EMGs, you've never seen them coil tapped. They don't come coil tapped. Well, the EMG has actually made some coil tappable 81s. This is 81 in the, as you see, push pull tap. Got one for both. Uh, and the 89R, basically what, what, no, I mean not coil tap, coil split. Basically what is happening with a coil split is, this is a passive pickup, but just imagine this inside here. Okay. When we... When we go to do a when you go to do a pickup split, um, basically what you're doing is canceling out one of the side, one of the single coils. So instead of having a humbucker, you'll have a single coil. Like with this one, that's when I pull this in the bridge position, it's like. This one gets sh shut off, and this one works. And I get a very... I'll even show you. This is regular. This is coil tapped. This is coil tapped. A lot more twangy. And with the 89R, one thing EMG did was instead of the bridge coil being kept on and the neck coil being basically shut off, uh, they switched it. So when you pick this, it's like this coil is going off and this coil up here stays on so you get... This is without it. That's without. This is with coil tap. I think those right there really show it. You get a really nice warm Stratocaster sound. This is what's going on. I made a very rudimentary. The amp that I'm going through is a Randall RT50 all tube amplifier. Essentially what is going on with a regular pickup is string vibrates over the coil the coil picks up that, uh, basically in the magnetic field, it takes it, it goes down the wire, ground, one side's grounded, the other side goes to a lug, and then from here goes out into your output. Now of course, Actives have three wires because you have a uh, on and off the output jack works as a switch to turn them on and off. But with this, I'm basically just showing how the coil split actually works. Inside every pickup or every humbucker are two single coils. Those two single coils have to be connected because they are wound and then they're connected in series. That's the wire that connects the two single coils. Every humbucker has these two wires. Seymour Duncan, this is a pickup out of my Seymour, no, uh, my Epiphone Gothic Explorer. It's the bridge pickup, hot D8 
B, no, B8, B, Les Paul, CLS, Bridge, so it's like, wow, it's an Epiphone, uh, it says Epiphone right there, but that, that doesn't matter. And basically what is happening is, a lot of the times Seymour Duncans and stuff, they will actually take these two wires, have them undone, and have them come out down here so you can choose to have it coil split or not. If not, you just solder the two together. If you do want them to be coil split uh, with Seymour Duncans, you can uh, choose which coil you want to be uh, shut off. Uh, you just have to know that one is a negative, which will be ground, and one is a positive, which will be a hot. To basically shut one off, you have to connect this wire. First you have to weld, I mean, uh, solder an extra wire to this right here. This wire right here is nothing but the wire that connect, connects the two single coils inside the humbucker. That's done. Now, yeah, let's do a sound check real quick. This is what it sounds like when it's not coil tapped. That one sounds a little louder. Now, coil tap it. You want to find your ground. This is basically the very most rudimentary way of doing it. Usually there's a switch. A toggle switch, uh, push pull pot like over here on this. I have this splits the coil that puts the humbuckers back on. With this, basically, what what is being done when you are splitting a coil is when you're splitting a yeah <laughs> coil splitting is you are taking that wire and you're grounding out one of these when it's on you're practically just grounding out one of the single coils and everybody knows if you have a negative and a negative, you're not going to get anything. Yeah. You won't get any output. Now, let's do a sound test to show you. Now, this one right here is grounded out. Barely any noise. But look at that. Full noise at that one. No noise. Because we've shut that single coil off. I just split the coil. I split the humbucker on off on off and then all you have to do to shut it off is flick a switch or in my instance undo a wire and it's back on 
but that is how it is actually done. If you want to shove this one off, you wire this back up. I shouldn't have ripped that wire off like that, but I can better not solder while I'm still connected to my amp. Instead of having it going to this, instead of having it go to going to the uh, the ground, we take it to the output. output of the humbucker and this will be positive and positive which will cancel out again one of the pickups But now, put it back in. See? That pickup's working. That one is barely giving any output at all. So that is what coil splitting does. You connect two... You connect to the two single coils inside the humbucker and then you connect it to either, if you want to shut off one side, you connect it to the hot side, which would be the positive side. If you want to cancel out the other side, you connect it to the ground, the negative. But it's, it's very simple. Uh, I've been, ever since I've got this gu uh, guitar, I've been learning how it's done. And now that I know how it's done, it has made it, I mean, uh, like this guitar here. These are all the different sounds that I can get out of it. I have regular neck. I have neck coil tap. I have metal. I have metal with neck coil tap. I have metal with neck and bridge coil tap. So basically just two single coils. Or I can have a sing I mean a, a humbucker and a single coil, which is what this is. And then I have regular bridge. Coil tap bridge. I don't know if anybody counted, but that's eight. That's eight different pickup possibilities. Give you a lot of different sounds and a lot of flexibility. So I have found that coil splitting is a very good thing if you know how to do it. If you don't know how to solder or something like this, take it to a guitar tech. It's going to cost some money, but you're not going to ruin your guitar. My father taught me how to solder. He was an electronic technician. Yeah, that's a neighbor with one of his rice burners. I prefer American Muscle myself. I got a Camaro. But that's all it is. Is you just find the wires that connect it together, and you either ground it out, which will shut off one of them or hook it up to the input, I mean the hot, and it'll cancel out the positive. It's, like I said, it's a very nifty idea and trick once you learn how to do it. But remember, the way I did it was a very dirty and rudimentary way of doing it. 
usually when you do something like this, you definitely want to, you want to make it look prettier. I mean, you definitely don't want to do something and have just a wire sticking out. Like right here, just have a wire sticking out and then going over to that. I mean, that just, the reason I have this is when I'm playing, my pinky hits it, so I just, tur I move, these are my volumes, I got rid of my tone pot, which I do that on all my guitars, I just, I have no reason to use the tone, if I want to change my tone at all, I'll go to the amplifier, I believe that guitars are built to sound the way it sounds. But that's basically the explanation of how coil splitting works.